Don't quit Accenture or any other big consulting firm before you've watched this video. Because there's an unspoken thing about quitting big consulting that no one is talking about until now. I'll be honest, this video is less applicable to people who are leaving one big consulting firm for another. But if you're about to leave or have just left big consulting for industry or another mid-size or boutique consulting firm, then stay tuned because I'm gonna let you in on a secret that I 100% wish I had known before I left Accenture. And the secret is this, you never actually leave. Sure, your email will change, the building you work in will change, but your mindset won't. And if you're not careful, this will trap you. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what to look out for and what to do about it. Let's go. Because the truth is, Accenture and, to be honest, all big consulting firms are a bit of a cult. Think about it, you've got the McKinsey Way and in Accenture we used to talk about bleeding purple. That's the phrase we used for people who were truly dedicated to the firm and I was absolutely one of them. And that in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. It makes you a sharper consultant and it really levels up the quality and quantity of your work. But it means that when the time comes to leave, it can be surprisingly hard to adjust to life after big consulting. This video isn't about why I left Accenture. If you want to know that, I made a video, link up here, check that out. Nor am I about to tell you that I regret leaving. I don't. Leaving Accenture has shown me where I need to go professionally, but also personally as well. However, I'm going to be honest. I found the transition pretty hard. And even though no one talks about this, I'm sure I can't be alone. This video also doesn't have all of the answers. I'm still learning. But what it is here to do is two things. One, if you identify with anything I'm saying, then know that you're not alone. Secondly, if you're about to leave big consulting, these are the things you need to be ready for. And there are two things. One, always on. Two, diversity. Now they sound a bit cryptic. Let me explain. Number one, always on. Now Accenture has over 700,000 employees globally and most projects will work with people from across the world. And to be honest, I think that's true of most big consulting firms. And what it means is that stuff is always happening. Whatever time of the day or night you log in, something is going on. And it makes you feel super productive because the velocity of that is very powerful. When you switch to a smaller firm, like a mid-sized firm or a boutique, obviously it's less likely that that's going to be the case. For example, now, when I check my emails before I go to bed, there's generally nothing. And when I check them again when I wake up in the morning, there's generally um, nothing. Now, theoretically, this is the work-life balance dream. But if that's the case, why does it feel so, so odd? I think it's because of this. I think it's because you feel like you're achieving less. Now, that's actually a fallacy, but it can take your brain some time to catch up with that. The reality is that mid-size or boutique consulting versus big consulting is not an apples to apples comparison. They are different propositions by their very definition. They have different homes in the consulting world. It's more like apples to pears than apples to apples. Now, pears are no less valuable than apples. They are all important, but you have to embrace the fact that you're doing apples to pears and not try to force your pear into being an apple. And now you can't stop thinking about apples and pears. So let's start talking about number two, diversity. Because here's the funny thing. Accenture was consistently rated towards the top of lots of IND indices. And it was, on the face of it, quite a diverse place to work. Except that, well, it isn't. Because beneath the surface, we all had a very similar mindset. We were all competitive, 
type A, ambitious, goal-orientated people. And most of us were a bit workaholic too, to be honest. Now, sure, that's a big generalization, but honestly, it's true of 90% of the people I met there. And I think it's a bit of a hangover from the old up or out days that used to exist and still does in some big consulting firms. And we have to be cognizant that the typical, traditional consulting mindset doesn't always land well in cultures that have more diversity of attitude. You can come across as intense, and then you risk becoming a bit isolated, and that isn't a place that you ever want to be. And I don't say this to encourage you to shy away from it, quite the reverse. It's good to challenge your mindset. It's good to surround yourself with different perspectives, especially those that are really different from yours. Logically, we know that surrounding yourself in an echo chamber isn't the best way to grow. And you might think you're open-minded, but it's only when you really land there that you find out how open-minded you truly are. Because challenging your mindset isn't easy. It's the better option, for sure, but it's also the harder one. And that shift can feel really uncomfortable. It's like metaphorical growing pains. So I'm going to wrap this video by saying this. Neither of these two things have easy cures. And actually, nor should they. They might feel uncomfortable, but you absolutely need to embrace them as part of the learning journey. I think they're working away in the background to subconsciously make you become a more well-rounded person who'll be a more adaptable consultant and just have a better perspective personally as well. So if I could wind the clock back three months, this is what I tell myself. Don't fight those things, but do know they're coming. I hope you found this video useful. If you're transitioning out of big consulting, let me know in the comments how are you finding it. Share your tips and tricks for transitioning and let's all help each other out. If you've enjoyed this video, you know to smash that like button and you know to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.